What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode 6 on the Road to Super Series. Now, last episode we got the Mini up on actual stands and we took the wheels off. So in today's video, we're going to do a wheel refurb. Now, me and Dad, we've got all the fancy tools to make this job a lot easier and a lot faster, like an air compressor and a spray gun and stuff like that. But we understand that not everyone's got the tools just lying about. So, what we're going to do with this video is we're going to use rattle cans and products you can get from your local hardware store, super cheap and super easy to pick up. But the first thing we need to do is actually go out and pick up all the rattle cans that we need to do this video. So, roll the intro. Okay guys, we're back. Um, first shop we went to was Halfords. So we've picked up some wet and dry paper, uh, sorry, normal sandpaper. Um, we've got two sheets of 180, two sheets of 320, that's going to be perfect for doing this. I also picked up a can of the Halfords Body Shop Lacquer. I really like this stuff because it's uh, it's got a nice spray fan on it, so you get a really good finish with it, it's well worth it. It's only a couple of pounds more than normal lacquer, that was 9.99. Um, and that was £3.70 or something like that. Um, next we've got some black underguard, that's for the mini when we're putting the wheels back on. So we've got some high build primer, again for our local auto parts store, £7. And then we've got two cans of just a nice metallic silver paint that we found, not sure what it is. It's a, it's a Holtz colour, HSILM14. But it looked like a nice metallic silver, five pound a can. So you can see there, we're going to get a full refill on the wheels, really cheap. So it's not going to be like a full powder coat finish. We're not doing the backs. We're only going to do the face of them just to tidy them up a wee bit and make them look good for retail. So what we'll do now, we'll get one of the wheels up here. We'll get the camera on the tripod, and then we'll go through it and show you exactly how we do it. So the first thing I like to do when we're doing these um, is I let the tire down and it just gives you a wee bit of flexibility on the side wall just to get into the edges and then what we'll do is we'll go down to a wee small screwdriver and just take the worst of the flaking powder coat off with a screwdriver just to try and save a little bit of time when you're sanding so we'll do that first and then we'll come back there we go guys we've got most of the flaking powder coat off using the screwdriver and the wheel, but wheel uh, nut bits were particularly bad Round the edge of this rim isn't it too bad with curb rash, it's uh, mainly flaking lacquer but we're going to take care of that in a wee minute, we're just going to use a uh, little palm sander and I've got a bit of 320 grit sandpaper on it so we'll use that you don't have to use a palm sander uh, you can do this all by hand but we're just going to do it for quickness because uh, we want to get the wheels back on the car and get it up for sale So we've gone over that with a palm sander just all the bits that we can get into the bits we can't get into now we're just going to go around we folded a bit of sandpaper, do it by hand, run the valve cap and bits like that right in the corners of the spokes and then I've got a wee trick I'll show you for getting into the, the wheel bolt holes to make sure you can get them cleaned up but let's get the rest of this rubbed down and then we'll go through there One of the hardest bits to get into 
Um, it's ruined where the wheel nuts go. Studs or nuts, whatever you've got. But they're, they're tight, it's a radius, it's just really annoying. You can buy little flap discs that can go in there, or I can show you a quick little trick. So, if you get yourself some sandpaper, now, this will work with any cordless drill. Cut yourself off a strip of sandpaper, and then I like to use a split pin, but you can also use like an M8 bolt with a slit cut in it. And then what you can do is put your sandpaper down into your split pin. This one's a wee bit tight, like so. And then wrap it around. Like that. And then what you do is put the end of the split pin in your cordless drill. Get it nice and tight. And then you can use the drill The sand on the inside of the wheel nuts. Okay guys, that's the first wheel all done. Uh, you've probably seen on the time lapse there, we just finished off the wheel with a scotch pad just to get any last wee bits and then gave it a blow off to get the dust off it. So this one's ready to primer, but as you know, there's another three. So let's crack on with these. Um, we'll get these all ready for primer and then we'll show you the next step. So we've just got the wheels all sanded down, all rubbed down, and they're now nice and smooth. Now the next step is to get them masked up. Dad started over on this one. And the quick tip, whenever you're masking up, always overlap them in the same place. That way when you're peeling it off, it makes it so, so much easier to peel all the masking tape off. This is also why we like to let the tyre down, because when you're masking it up, if you leave just a little bit hanging over the rim, of the wheel, when you press down the tyre, it flops underneath the rim and tucks in nicely.
Right, now we've got everything rubbed down. Um, the lips are, like I said, none of them are perfect. We've flattened the kid brush as much as possible. We've got all the flaking uh, um, powder coating off. Charlie's went round and finished masking them all up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a high bow primer. I always use a high bow because any fine wee scratches or marks it will fill them. So we'll get the wheels in high bow primer. We'll use a, a heat gun just to try and speed up the drying process because it's pretty damp and cold here today. So we'll get the high bow on it and then we'll go for some colour. We'll get the silver on. So guys when you're putting your high bow primer on, the first coat you don't want to worry too much about coverage. The first coat you want to be, well, it's technically called a grab coat or a tack coat. It's a light misting across the whole wheel um, and you let that go off just to give your wet coat something to stick to. So, but generally when I'm painting the wheel, I'll paint the centre wheel bolts first and let the overspray land on the centre. And then I'll do each individual bit of the rim and then all the way around the outside and then the spokes last. Um, and I always follow that pattern just to make sure I get coverage so we'll get the dusting coat on first and then we'll come back and do the wet coats. Okay guys, we've used the heat gun a little bit, helped speed up the drying process, but it's been about 10 minutes, so we're good to go with our second coat. Now this coat is obviously going to be a, more of a coverage coat, but we are going to do it in exactly the same process we've just done the misting coat. So wheel bolts first, centre, in between each spoke, round the rim, over the spokes and then fill in any blanks. So. So that's the primer all dry now, the next stage is to get the silver paint on, it's, it's got the exact same process as the primer, first you do a mist coat uh, so that your wet coats have something to stick to.
Okay guys, I just want to take a minute out of the video um, just to introduce you to my mate's channel. It's AC Collections. If you're into cars, you'll love his channel as well. It's all models and collectibles he does. He does unboxing videos and all sorts. Really, really good. And he's just hit 2,800 subscribers and I'm sure he would love to get to 3,000. So if you guys are into your cars, you're into your collectible models, Go check out AC Collections, I'll leave a link for his channel in the description and you can also click it up here as well. But yeah, check him out, show him some love, I'm sure he'd really appreciate the support. Now, we're on the last stage of doing these wheels, it's clear coat. It's the exact same process as the last time guys, we're going to do a tack coat, um, just a light misting, just to get a wet coat something to grip to. And we'll probably give it two coats of lacquer, just with them being wheels, it needs to be a little bit hard wearing. So, two coats of the clear lacquer, let's go. So that's that, just finished up all the clear coat, uh, they're looking pretty good but unfortunately it's gotten dark outside and there's not much we can really do today so hopefully tomorrow if it's dry we'll be able to do all the stone chip on the underneath of the wheel arches. We'll get these peeled, see how they look and then we can fit them back onto the car. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay so it's the next morning, let's go see how these wheels turn out. Now last night when we left them it was pretty cold so fingers crossed that they're not all hazy. So this is the reason we like to overlap in the one direction. Because when you're unpeeling it, it makes it so much easier. So what Dad's done is he's just went and put a little bit of stone chip on all the pieces of metal inside the wheel arches and now what we're doing is I think Dad's just given the calipers a quick coat of silver freshening them up, making them look, making them look a, a lot neater. So while Dad's giving the calipers a quick paint of silver I'm just going to get a piece of cardboard, poke some holes in it and then I'll, I can get all the wheel nuts uh, freshly painted black so they look a little nicer on the car. So yeah, I'll get the camera up on the tripod now and I'll get that done. Right guys. Before it starts raining, we're going to get the wheels back on the car, get it back to enough the axle stand so we can get it back in the garage, um, and then that will probably be it for this video. So let's crack on before it starts raining.
so there we go guys 30 quid and uh, four or five hours of your time and they look amazing don't get me wrong they're not perfect if you want perfect you take them off you get them to somebody you pay two or three hundred quid the acid dip them in powder coat them again but if you're on a budget and you just want to tidy things up a bit 30 quid a couple of rattle cans a wee bit of sanding we have ordered some new center caps they're going to be coming sorry if uh, it's a bit windy there's wind flying in the driveway today um, but yeah new center caps are coming 7 99 off of ebay so they'll be here in the next couple of days I've gave the calipers a wee spray just to tidy them up so I've been cleaned and blackened in the wheel arches and stone chipped so yeah it's almost there ok guys that's it for this week's video wheels are back on they look great there's probably going to be another couple of videos on the mini and then that will be it finished uh, we've already started looking for the third car for the Road to Supra series if you've got any suggestions what we should do drop it in the comments below as always thanks very much for watching and thanks for all the recent support the subscriber counts went up quite a bit it really helps us out and we really appreciate it so keep hitting that subscribe button make sure you hit the like button because that also helps with the YouTube algorithm and it makes our content go into the, the recommended for you section so thanks again See you next week guys.